Okay, today I want to talk a few minutes about uh, hepatic encephalopathy. Before I go further, I request you to visit my website at uh, www.drpaul.org. That is www.drpaul.org. We have been posting many videos for physicians preparing for USMLE and PLAB. So please take some time to visit us. So let me talk a few minutes this morning about uh, hepatic encephalopathy. You see, we have uh, so many patients with cirrhosis and liver failure. And majority of patients, they present with uh, hepatic encephalopathy. And if, for example, if you take a patient with cirrhosis or a failing liver, they might get some precipitating uh, causes. First think about the physiology. The body produces ammonia and it has to be converted into urea by the liver. When the liver does not do its function well, the ammonia is accumulating in the body. And as the ammonia is accumulating in the body it produces many clinical symptoms. On the other hand some precipitating causes like constipation, GI bleeding, renal failure, dehydration, infection, surgery, drug exposure, electrolyte abnormalities, hypoxia, dietary protein overload, they can also cause uh, they, they can act as precipitating factors. You take for example constipation. What is happening? The ammonia that is released into the intestines is not being excreted. So as the constipation continues, ammonia gets accumulated in the body and causes hepatic encephalopathy. Now symptoms and signs. <coughs> you can say like uh, a clinical grading. Before that, think about physical examination. Physical examination usually reveal the classic signs of chronic liver disease. For example, hepatomegaly, jaundice, scleral icterus, ascites, asterixis, gynecomastia, spider angiomas. Those are the physical signs of liver failure. Then what about hepatic encephalopathy? To remember easily, they are divided into grade 0 to grade 4. Grade 0 has subtle mental status changes noted on testing of memory, concentration, cognition and coordination. Grade 1 is characterized by mood disorder, sleep cycle derangement, inattention, difficulty with intellectual tasks. Grade 2 is characterized by lethargy, confusion, ataxia, slurred speech, asterixis, and inappropriate behavior. Grade 3, grade three is characterized by significant confusion, somnolence, delirium, incomprehensible speech, amnesia, hyperreflexia. Grade 4, stopar and coma. So remember, if you remember the clinical grading, what you see is as we go from grade 0 to grade 4 the clinical features are getting uh, more and more serious the prognosis also becomes worse as we go from grade 0 to grade 4 now we have few things about laboratory findings as I said ammonia level increases so elevation of ammonia is the characteristic sign of hepatic encephalopathy but many, th many times you don't see a correlation between the level of ammonia and the severity of symptoms. And uh, a relationship recently has been established between the level of ammonia and the risk of cerebral herniation. So if the ammonia level is high, they can have cerebral herniation. Coming to treatment, Emergency department therapy is primarily directed at supportive care and reversal of any underlying conditions. 
so you give supportive care and you also reverse underlying conditions for example the main problem here is to how to remove ammonia from the body so what should you do you have to think about a way to remove the ammonia and ammonia being uh, accumulated in the intestines you use an agent that will excrete that that causes excretion without causing any other damage the best medication is lactulose you can administer it either orally or rectally uh, to decrease ammonia level and also the antibiotics antibiotics like uh, neomycin or metronidazole they kill the bacteria that produces ammonia so you are killing the bacteria that produce ammonia by using neomycin or metronidazole so overall you can use either uh, lactulose and you can add an uh, ammonia uh, an ammonia uh, sorry uh, ammoniogenic bacteria killing antibiotics like neomycin or metronidazole the other thing you need to remember is benzodiazepines are contraindicated in patients with hepatic encephalopathy so remember that whenever a patient has their hepatic encephalopathy and if he has uh, some anxiety don't choose benzodiazepines that because they are contraindicated finally a few words about uh, disposition you see everything depends upon uh, the characteristic uh, features like uh, the side effects and the severity of symptoms so the patient has a lot of uh, symptoms like grade 0 uh, sorry grade 3 or grade 4 you should definitely admit those patients if it is their grade 0 just uh, monitor their ammonia level and you can dispose them so this is Dr. Paul that's about hepatic encephalopathy please visit our website www.drpaul.org and uh, uh, basically we have been posting videos on our website and uh, visit us on the other hand we are also uh, posting important books for USML examination and uh, we recommend USML Smasher we are preparing for USML clinical skills too please buy USML is smasher. We have given student to student advice. Thousands of people are buying this book and getting through their examination without spending a lot of money on uh, live courses. So this book is produced out of live courses at a reasonable cost and we request you to have a copy of it. Thank you very much.